Hello, Gemini. Welcome. Sorry. Welcome to your reading for um, October 8th to the 11th. Um, we're going to get started. I actually want to pull, I think I want to pull a finance message for you, Gemini. Um, can I get a finance message for Gemini? Uh, I feel like you're going to be finding the loophole or you're going to be finding a loophole, Gemini. So there's like a shorter way to get somewhere or I don't know, but you're finding a loophole or the loophole. Okay, can I get a um, money message for Gemini? Next few days, money message for Gemini. Okay, we have money management. Master money management, create a budget, save regularly, and invest prudently to build a strong financial foundation. Okay, so some of you guys could be working on your finances, maybe worsening. Um, oh, be mindful that you're not worsening your financial situation or your finances. I'm also getting Gemini, be mindful that you're not speaking negativity onto your money. If you're going to be speaking about money, speak highly of it. Okay, we have effective work habits. Um, speak highly on your financial situation. Speak highly on your money. Like put good energy into your money. Uh, develop efficient work habits. Set clear priorities. Use productivity techniques like the Pomodoro method. And take regular breaks to maintain focus and energy. Okay, so work, work, work may be difficult. You got to work and play. Work and take breaks. So work, take a break, but discipline yourself. So don't take a five-hour break and then, you know, that's your, that's your day. Like if you need a 10-minute break, take a 10-minute break. Um, or work in intervals. Like I'm going to do three and then I'm going to take a 10 minute break. Then I'm going to do three more, take a 10, like, uh, work on certain techniques so that you're not getting distracted. Um, and this says like put effective skills in place to, um, to help manage your money and your time better. Okay. Uh, there's something here about like working on making your work or working on making something a lot more efficient. Okay. If you're going to be spending a lot of time here, this could be a job, you know, your workplace, um, your workplace, if you work for yourself, whatever it is you work for a place, you're going to be spending a lot of time there. So start coming up with habits that can kind of make something bearable, help you finish your work on time, give you some extra leg room to do other stuff as well. Okay. Um, some of you guys may want to look up manifestation as well and effective money saving habits. Okay. Certain methods that can work maybe for you. Okay. But um, I feel like Gemini, I'm hearing the message that you guys are going to, sorry, my eyes, you guys are going to time travel almost. It feels like uh, in your mind, you're time traveling to a place where like you have everything that you want. Okay. So this feels like an effective manifestation technique as well. Um, okay. What do you got for Gemini? October 8th to the 11th, Gemini, October 8th to the 11th. Okay, be mindful that you're not egging somebody on, Gemini, okay? Like, be mindful that you're not instigating an issue right off the bat as calling you out. Just be mindful not to, you know, hype somebody up when it's like something, you know, maybe it's at someone else's downfall or someone else's demise. Just be mindful. Okay, we have the magician. What is the magician for Gemini? October 8th to the 11th. The magician, the knight of wands. Okay, you're either trying to make somebody jealous or you're going to make somebody jealous. Um, you're going to make somebody feel real insecure about themselves pretty soon, Gemini. I'm not sure what you're doing. Um, who is this that Gemini is going to make feel this way? Who is this that Gemini is going to make feel this way? Insecure. Who is this that Gemini is going to make feel this way? Uh, it could be an Aries. Now, this person, it feels like they deserved it, though. Um, it feels like they does if whatever you do, it feels like they kind of deserve it because they were kind of disrespectful or kind of rude to you. So however they start feeling, it's not your issue. It's kind of like, for example, let's say someone here cheats on you or let's say they lie to you. Like, why would you try to, why would you try to, uh, to eat, to appease them or, or, um, soothe their ego? Like when yours is the one that's damaged or bruised, like it's not your responsibility here. Someone here is not a child. They're not a fucking child. Okay. Who is this person? The ace of swords. The Ten of Swords. How is Gemini making this person insecure here? How? October 8th to the 11th. How is Gemini making somebody insecure here? How? How? Okay, we got the justice. Because you're not comforting them. You're not making somebody feel better. This is like this is like karma for what somebody's done. Okay. You're cutting to the truth without with life. You're, you're cutting it to the truth with like no um no mercy. The justice card has no justice and death have no mercy death comes for everybody okay death doesn't death doesn't stop at at um at a king or at somebody here that's rich that you know death doesn't stop at anybody okay life doesn't wait for anybody and neither does a justice card okay you think the irs gonna be patient with you or lenient with you regarding your taxes no they come knocking at your door they're gonna arrest your ass just like death just like the justice system okay it's it's flawed it's unfair but it's it's supposed to be fair 
karmic law, at regular law, it's supposed to be fair. It's supposed to be merciless. Okay. It's actions have consequences. And I feel like that's exactly how you're approaching somebody. You are not comforting them. And I feel like you are scaring. I feel like you are scaring somebody shitless because they are, they, they don't have the warm hug of Gemini anymore. Oh my God. My Gemini has gone. What happened? What happened to the warmth? Where did all this cold come from? Bitch, that's what truth feels like. Huh? That's what the truth feels like, Hammy. That's what it feels like when we cut through some, when we, when we get to the, when we get to the, uh, to the bottom of things, that's what it feels like when we get to the truth. The truth is ice cold. Okay. The truth is a best, is a dish best served cold. Okay. They didn't know you could switch up like that, did they? I mean, if you're dealing with an, another air sign, they should have because they could do it too. But um, yeah, you're not comforting them anymore. You're not. You're being real stern, real direct. It's literally like the fire, the warmth, all of it has died down. It's straight robot, straight cold, straight facts, no emotion. Okay, you being cold with somebody. Why is Gemini making uh, somebody feel this way? We got the, the Hierophant. Why is Gemini make, making somebody feel this way here? Um, we have the world card. What is this for? Why is Gemini making somebody feel this way? The world. What's the world? Why is Gemini make, um, the world and the empress? I don't know. It feels like maybe you don't trust something here. It feels like maybe there was a, a new beginning, but you don't trust something. Yeah. The ace of swords, the justice, you're going to get your justice here right, right off the bat. Cause the ace of swords, this is, there's, that also represents a victory, especially with the justice, with, with the justice card for some of y'all, if y'all are going through some legal proceedings, um, this looks like a win for your case. Like you're proving your case or you're going to, this feels like a good omen regarding uh, justice matters. Okay. But why is Gemini making uh, somebody feel this way? The world, the empress, can you clarify the world? I feel like you kind of want to close this out. Like you want to be done with something. Like I, I want to close out this case. If this is not a literal, if this is not a literal court case, Gemini, it feels like you've taken somebody to court. Like it feels like a court case. It feels like official business matters. If it's not literally official, that's how it feels. Like you're approaching it like a, like a, like a, like a law official or like a business official or something. And I feel like why? Because you want to close this out. You don't want to deal with shit no more. You don't want to hear it. I don't want to, I don't want to deal with it. I'm done with this. I don't want to deal with this no more. The world, the empress. It feels like you want to move on, or you, you, but you, but it feels like maybe you need truth to move on, Gemini. It feels like I can't move on unless I, until I know. Like I can't move on until justice is served. You cannot properly close out a cycle if there has been an injustice done. No, karmic, you have to balance the scales out, Gemini. You may have some Libra in your chart because we have the empress here. So the empress is Taurus and Libra energy. It feels like you cannot leave something alone. You are like a dog with a bone. The world and the empress. What's this empress card? Um, you're, you're getting some new ideas here as to how to approach something. Maybe you're trying to do it creatively. Okay. I, I don't know, Gemini, but you're, 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 you're taking different approaches regarding a matter. And I feel like you're making somebody feel very insecure. Um, but anyways, what else do you have for Gemini? October 8th to the 11th. Um, we have the six of swords. Sorry. I don't like that. You can see the notebook. Ugh, I never know how to place the camera. It's so annoying. Okay, what is the Six of Swords for Gemini? Six of Swords. What is this for Gemini? October 8th to the 11th. Six of Swords. Okay, some of you guys could be traveling somewhere or going somewhere. This could be a long distance, but this is definitely travel. Some of you guys could actually be moving somewhere or making plans to move. Six of Swords, Three of Wands. Um, it kind of feels like Gemini, you guys are going to be like a survivor of something. Like you guys are surviving something. You guys are getting out of something alive. Like, I don't know if you're in a dog, it's a dog eat dog world or what, but it kind of feels like you're, you're a survivor. Or you're making it out of something. You're making it out. I don't know what that means. You're making it out. Six of swords, the three of wands. What is this for Gemini? October 8th to the 11th. You're experiencing some kind of victory and it feels like it's in your love life. Um, it feels like it's in your love life, Gemini. What do I want to use to explain that? What is this victory? Oh, shit. Sorry. What is this victory here that Gemini is experiencing? I don't know, Gemini. It feels like your approach is kind of gangster. Like you keeping something gangster here or you keeping something like kind of real crazy. 
like your approach is kind of leading to some kind of victory or some kind of win. What is this? What is this victory in some kind in Gemini's uh in Gemini's life here, October 8th to the 11th? What is this victory? Should I take it? Yeah, the world can okay, you're gonna expose some kind of secret. It's like some kind of cheating secret. You're gonna win. You're gonna win some kind of case here. Okay, so you you uh you've proven your case, you're gonna win. You're exposing some kind of cheating secret, Gemini. It feels like you're exposing somebody with the world card. And this felt this represents a success or a victory. You've battled your case, you've uh you rest your case, like you you've proven your case, or you've you you've uh you've said your points. It literally feels like if this is not a law thing or a court case officially, this feels like Gemini, the way you handled something was like straight up justice card. Like you handled it right and wrong, consequence, actions have consequences, balance, like you handle it like a law official, whatever this is. This could be like literally talking to your partner and you present them with the evidence, the facts, and then you get the proof. Like you did you did your shit, you did your big one, whatever this is, you proved your case. And you prove something right or you prove some, someone wrong or something. But it feels like you're going to be exposing something. Some of y'all could literally be a lawyer. I see you winning a case. What is this victory for Gemini? Uh, someone maybe has been lying in your face or keeping something secret or hidden. We do have the Ace of Swords, Six of Swords here. That's the Seven of Swords. That could be a secret. What is this for Gemini? Um, what is this victory that they're experiencing here? October 8th to the 11th. What is this victory that Gemini here is explain? Is it... Uh, Oh, wow. The nine, Yeah, you're going to expose this. You're going to expose something about a person here. You're exposing this. You're exposing someone for the true freaking liar or cheater that they are, Gemini. You're exposing someone for who and what they are. Um, it feels it could be a Libra here with this justice card, but we have justice twice. Okay, you're exposing this fraud. I'm actually going to make that your title, okay? Hold on. Ah, this pen is pissing me off. None of my pens work. Sorry, give me one second, guys. But yeah, you're exposing somebody. You are exposing somebody. Nine of Swords, the world, the justice card. And it feels like you've traveled like far and wide long and far or long and hard you, you've looked for the truth and you've traveled for it and like it feels like um it feels like honestly you've reached some kind of conclusion or, or this feels like a this feels like a cause for celebration gemini uh something here has reached finality or you've concluded some kind of cycle it feels like you're winning something okay but if you've exposed the cheating secret i hope this is not at your expense because that it feels like a victory but like if this is about you like if this is your relationship where you're exposing something you feel happy because you're right but like they did something to you Okay, well, if this is a cheating secret that you're exposing in your own relationship, it feels like you're happy because you exposed it. Do you do you care that you got cheated on? I don't I don't know. It feels like you don't even care about that. It feels like, oh my God, I won. Like, I, <laughs> I don't know what this is, Gemini. I don't know. But it feels like you're exposing somebody for the fraud that they are. You're exposing this fraud, bitch. Okay? I'm not going to excuse my language. Okay, if you knew this channel, I curse. I don't fucking care, okay? It's my channel. But um, I have some people like, watch your language. Bitch, get the fuck up off my channel, okay? Watch your face on my damn channel. Get the fuck up out of here. Don't watch my damn language. Okay, I don't know where my stuff went. Oh, <sighs> give me one second, Jimmy. I'm going to put this back in here. I just feel like I need organization to keep doing your reading. I'm stressed right now because everything's everywhere. Okay, but... um. Yeah, I feel like the fraud will be revealed. You are exposing some kind of fraud in your life, Gemini. I feel like you're experiencing some kind of win. This could literally be you winning a court case, okay? Um, what is hidden from Gemini October 8th to the 11th? What is hidden from Gemini? Uh, the devil card. Okay, some of you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn. I'm getting Aries energy as well. What's the devil for Gemini? What's hidden? Something's hidden in your love life. You're getting an apology. You're getting an apology from somebody here. It could be from a Capricorn or someone here who's a liar. You're getting some kind of apology. And I'm also getting, you're getting some kind of windfall of abundance. Yo, this feels like you getting your karma. You getting your due, you getting what was due, Gemini, what was taken from you or what you getting your due diligence. You getting your karma. If this is not a court case where you're winning some money, but this feels like you getting your money, 
okay? You get some kind of windfall of abundance. Um, if this is not that, it feels like something feels like a weight lifted off of you, Gemini, okay? You won. You won the battle. Whew, you won the battle. Six of Wands as victory, success. There's a wreath, three wreaths, three cards of victory. And the and the world came out twice. The Ace of Wands, the Ace of Swords can be a victory, and justice is served. The world, a literal wreath, victory. The world, victory, twice. Six of Wands, victory. I feel like you are getting an apology from somebody, and it is long overdue, okay? Who is this person? The devil. Maybe they did something out of spite or out of jealousy. What's this devil? Um, someone here could be writing you a heartfelt apology. Like I, or, But some of y'all, this, this is giving me the energy of like people that are wrongfully imprisoned or wrongfully um, wrongfully imprisoned, like wrongfully accused, like a, like people that have to serve a sentence and then they find out after 50 years, after, they, after they've served 50 years of their life, oh, we got the wrong guy. Here, here's, here's an apology and here's some money. Like that's kind of what it's giving me the energy of. Like, I am so, so sorry, Gemini, that I didn't believe you. I'm so, so sorry, Gemini, that I didn't believe you before about this. You were right. You were right the whole time. Yup. Yup. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what this is talking about, but I feel it for you. I'm like, yes. Ugh. Payback's a bitch. I don't know what this don't feel like payback though, but it feels like it feels like, you know, I don't know, maybe you have been done wrong by like a lot of people or you have just been done wrong. You've been done dirty here and it's time for justice to be served and justice is going to be served here. Okay. Hold on a minute. Who is this devil energy for, um, for Gemini October for what's hidden? Sorry, let me rephrase that. What is this? Who is this devil for what is hidden from Gemini? You're owed an apology. The devil, the Ten of Pentacles, and I feel like you're going to be getting it. You're going to be getting this apology from somebody because somebody was lying. The devil, the Ten of Pentacles. What is this for Gemini? Uh, I don't know. Someone here pulls up receipts. Like they got the receipts, yo. Somebody here got the receipts. There's like evidence, yo. There's like something. What is this for Gemini? Sorry, I'm like a little bit, it has to be perfect for me to read it. It doesn't have to be, but I don't like it if it's not, <laughs> okay? I mess up with my cards a lot. Um, what is this for Gemini? Who is this Who is this devil, this devil card for Gemini? October um, 8th to the 11th for what's hidden. Who is this devil for Gemini for what's hidden? The devil, the death card. This could be a Sag, a Capricorn, Aquarius, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. Someone here did something because they were jealous or someone here did something out of spite. This could be an Aquarius or a Leo as well. It feels like something bothers this person that you know. With this death card, someone was jealous of you or they are jealous or they did something out of spite. They did something out of anger and hatred to spite you. They did something out of jealousy. The devil and the death card. The devil's in the details. The devil is in the details. And I'm hearing the devil in Ohio. That's a show. Some of y'all may want to watch that. Or if y'all haven't already. Who is this for Gemini for what's hidden? They kept something from you. What is this that uh what is this that was kept here from Gemini regarding what's hidden? What is this that was kept from Gemini here? The two of swords. What is this two of swords? For what was what, what what was kept hidden from Gemini here? Two of swords and the king of pentacles. Someone here was going to go forward and do something, Gemini. Like, I don't, I don't know if they actually did it, but they were going to go do it. I don't know, but. What is this that was kept hidden? The two of swords, the king of pentacles. Someone here held on to something for quite some time. I don't know if this is a grudge or what, but they held on to this. They held on to something. This feels like it's something that they should have let go of. Maybe someone here told you that they let go or I don't know what this is talking about, but it feels like they, they kept something close for quite some time. I don't know. Uh, tell me, give me a card for what does Gemini need to know? October 8th to the 11th. What does Gemini need to know? You're going to be dealing with someone that's very childish. 
this person has an issue with the truth telling the truth or what or taking it i don't know wow page of wands a child a fucking child what what's this what, what is this page of wands for what does gemini need to know october 8th to the 11th what does gemini need to know page of wands yeah i would think twice about this person i would think twice this could be an aries i would think twice now this person may push for a relationship they may push for marriage they may push for all this shit yeah i would think twice about letting this person in or letting them back into my life gemini okay i would think twice about letting this person back into my life if i were you okay gemini i would think twice i would think three times thrice third time's a charm i would think thrice quadruplice four four quadruple times four pentagon times five whatever hexagon whatever is seven and then octagon whatever is nine and whatever is ten decahedron whatever decadron whatever uh, i would think that many times before i before i do something here page of wands the knight of cups what is this for gemini what do they need to know october 8th to the 11th page of wands the knight of cups the four of swords yeah i don't, I don't know i would think twice about letting somebody in gemini I would think twice. I wouldn't. I don't know if I would take this as a serious option. There's like a lot of immaturity here. Um. Okay. Can I get a gypsy card for Gemini spirit? October eighth to the eleventh. Can I get a gypsy card for Gemini? Okay. We have frivolity. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Taurus, frivolous, someone that's very frivolous. Maybe they need to control their spending. Someone here seems like they have um, bad spending frivolity someone gets so easily jealous or so easily triggered or so easily insecure maybe this person doesn't like to be ignored i mean who does right but i mean some people genuinely don't give a shit they want to be left alone like i don't care if you ignore me or never speak to me again bitch but leave me the fuck alone right some people don't mind being ignored okay but someone here really doesn't like being ignored or being made a mockery of or a fool of i don't know we have malady Someone here could be sick. What's this malady card here for Gemini? October 8th to the 11th. What's this malady? Waiting. I don't know if you're waiting to hear back from somebody, somebody who's sick. Let me get one more on this. What's this malady card for Gemini? October 8th to the 11th. What's this malady? So you guys could be, I'm getting you're dealing with a Taurus here that's much older. Uh, I don't know if this person's sick. Someone here could be sick. I don't know sick with what, but somebody here is like sick. Could be someone from your past. I don't know, but that's what I got for you, Gemini, okay? I'm kind of going in circles. You know what? I, I don't think I'm done yet. I don't think I'm done yet. Let's just pull some more cards while we're here, right? Let's just keep going. The saga continues because I don't think I'm done yet. Okay, can I get can I get a whatever this is card for Gemini, October 8th to the 11th? Okay, we have self-care, energy. We have contracts, career, and commitments. Okay, yeah, we do have a lot of justice energy. We have the Ace of Swords. That's signing contracts, making commitments. Okay, literally justice energy could be a contract. Um, Ace of Swords could be a new contract. Okay, business deals. Some of you guys are um, getting Saturn energy. Saturn energy, like the work that you do now will reward you later. Okay, so um, I'm also getting until debt tear us apart, till death do us apart with some kind of contract. I don't know if this is like finalizing a separation or what, till death do us apart. I don't know if you're finalizing something. Yeah, this, this, this did look like you're concluding something. Can I get another card for Gemini? October 8th to the 11th, another card for Gemini. Closed off, guarded, resistance, healing, your inner child, and we have Ace of Cups. I feel like I want to say, Gemini, I got this for Aquarius last time, so some of you guys could have that in your chart or be dealing with that one. Get something in writer, in writer, get something in writing. There's a very healing conversation that, that can, like it has the potential to take place with somebody, Gemini, a very healing conversation. Um, you may be closed off to this, but... Uh, Something here can provide immense healing. Like if you were to just talk to somebody or hear them out or listen to whatever they have to say, it's a, it's a very healing, not to say that something good is going to come out of it. Like 
you know, you're going to get back together with somebody or you're going to be able to do X, Y, Z. But the point is it provides healing, which is the benefit. Okay. Yeah, that's what I got. Okay, that's what I got for you. Okay, that's what I got for you, Gemini. Okay, that's been your reading. Um, I hope this reading helps you in some way. I hope it resonates. Um, because this looks awesome. Okay, it's a victory. You know, you may discover some crazy shit, but it's a victory nonetheless. So, I mean, it looks like you don't care about that. So th this could be a, a case that you're winning for somebody else, to put it like simply. But that's what I got for you, Gemini. Um, I hope this reading helps you in some way. I hope it resonates. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next reading. Bye, guys.